chat here from More Than Wrenches. And today, we've got a little project we're gonna try to do. Make some of our shop equipment a little better. We're gonna try to turn a normal uh, $50 Harbor Freight engine stand into a self-rotating one. You can buy the self-rotating ones, but if you're like me, and have never bought an engine stand and kind of just acquire them over time. Uh, they're all the boring kinds that you have to manually rotate. So using some semi-truck brake parts, this slack adjuster, an S-cam, and this is actually just inner... Uh, actually, I don't even remember what this is from. We got a race on here and a sleeve I must have used to press it through. But I'm gonna use it anyways. So uh follow along as I try to figure out a way to make it all work. You're gonna have to bear with me. I probably do not have a good uh what would you say video personality and I've never really made a video so I don't know how to keep it entertaining. <laughs> um, the first step I think I'm going to do is actually... Well, here, I can kind of give you a better idea of how this is going to work. So this is going to go in here, like normal. And then this shaft is going to get mounted in here. And then this adjuster. It's going to get mounted see, yeah, to the back of it. So that's like that. And then once it's done, we'll be able to engine stand with the engine on it even. See? Maybe I'll put the finished product in the beginning of the video so it's easier to understand what we're building throughout the video. So I was gonna start by shortening this up. This part probably. And uh, the back side of this, I'm gonna try to get it flush. Cause when I mount that adjuster on here, I don't want it sticking way out here. I actually want it to stick like a little closer to it. So yeah. Um, and I move the camera again because I'm gonna end up going over here to the chop saw for a little bit. <laughs> Up. Ended up getting too close. I think it would have. Well, maybe it wouldn't have. Cut the square. Maybe I'll just cut that little notch out and grind it smooth or something. Everything 
shortened her up. It's gonna be our collar. I um, grind this collar down, and I think then I can get it to almost sit flush in there. And then I'll be able to shorten this up more even, and then uh, get inside of there with it. And that way, the slack adjuster can sit flat on here. My main goal is to get this as close to here as possible. Seems like it'd be less work than trying to fabricate it out. And then maybe the strength-wise, the closer you probably the better. So, just do some grinding. Actually, slide in there a little bit. So when we mount it like this. Now by the time we weld though, it ain't gonna fit. I'm thinking we'll just leave it stick out a little bit and then we'll just weld our bolts on here. Like this. And then we'll have that little spacer there, but it won't be too much. Trial and error. That's how it goes. Make sure I get it in there centered and flat, not tilted, because I think this whole thing is going to rely on the fact that that S camshaft is centered in here so it can spin nicely. So I just kind of like pounded some makeshift shims in there, one and about, tried to space them out decently, kind of hold it center. So here I just built a little spacer to mount the slack adjuster with. Just welded a nut inside of a nut and it'll be spaced out. So now I just gotta find out where I wanna put it on here. Now until I put a motor on there, you can actually see it 
Maybe I, I could slap that V6 on there, but and it's getting kind of late, like I said. Let's see some live action. Well, till next time.